Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. It's your boy LAPD Code 3, and I am back, guys, after a couple weeks of nearly almost a month hiatus, and I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, we've got some new improvements. I've got a brand new laptop, I've got a brand new rig, all, all ready for a new, more new episodes of LSPDFR. As you can see, the quality is a hell of a lot better. The stream is a lot better, the, the lag is gone. So, first off, guys, Thank y'all for being patient. We are about to get started on our patrol today. We are cruising today with the LAPD and the 2013 Dodge Charger, part of Oscar's LSPD pack, even though we changed it to LAPD. So, got my partner today as well. How you doing, partner? And today, guys, we're going to do some patrols out here. We're going to do some traffic stops. We're going to engage in some callouts. We're going to be testing new callouts today. Uh, one is called Chill Callouts by Amcoma. And I promised him that I'd take a look at that, see what's going on there. And this is, uh, we're going to be demonstrating some of the calls today, guys. So with that being said, we're going to be getting into patrol. It's good to be back. Dispatch, 3 out of 13. Show me a little for calls. 10, 8. 10 4. All right, guys. Let's go out there and make a difference. Bond code 2. Roger, dispatch. Uh, show 3 out of 13 handling. We're just around the corner. All right, guys. So we just got a call. This is actually one of Chill's callouts. This is called a, a helpless person, and I think they're on the street. I'm not sure. Okay, yep, they are. We gotta check this out. Let's go ahead and go code two here. Dispatch uh, three out of thirteen. Show us code six. East Lindsay Circus. It's gonna be one male individual uh, lying in the middle of the ground. Sir, are you okay? Sir, talk to me. Sir, are you okay? Hey, hey, stop moving. Hey, stop the traffic right now. Ambulance. All right. Back hey, hang on, buddy. I'm calling you an ambulance. Hang on. Soul. Hang on, man. I'm calling you an ambulance. Hang on. Gotta clear the traffic control. Otherwise, he's not gonna get around here. Hey, hold off, buddy. Hold off, man. Hold on. All right, the fire department. All right, the fire department just showed up. They're gonna check them out. Our units are here. Right here, guys. Come on, let's go. Do not panic. Help has arrived. All right, good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stay with us. Come on. Hope everybody is enjoying the weekend today. I know I am. Uh, finally got in. I was, the reason I was away, guys. Oh, look, he's alive. That's good. Oh, um, shit. Reason I was gone for so long was because I was looking for a new job, and at the same time, I was dealing with stuff with my own, with my other job, with the current job I'm in. And I was really upset with the fact that uh, a lot of us have not been, a lot of us have not been getting treated well at our job. Mainly being, you know, we're getting personally disrespected, personally getting mistreated, and we're just getting fed up with it. So a lot of us literally quit the store. We had a lot of couple guys that just walked out, and I'm already next in line to find a new job. So we, I've got an interview. I had an interview this uh, coming up soon, and I will let you guys know how it goes in my next video. Jonathan Evans survived. He will be taken into custody. I mean, he'll be taken into the hospital where he'll be uh, checked up. Hopefully, he'll be okay. All right, dispatch three out of 13, show us code four. Uh, victim is gonna be taken to our, to local medical facility, possibly Mount Zona. Show us code four about back, back 10-8. All right, guys, let's uh, get back on patrol. Uh, West Vinewood, units respond code two. Roger, dispatch, three out of 13 is en route. So we've got reports of a disruption. We're gonna code three to the scene. Uh, of course, guys, I changed the sirens up again, and I found another federal signal smart siren. This one was by Baker X Goody. Very special thank you to Baker for this uh, siren that I'm using. Oh, should have went this way. Okay. And it sounds so much better. And 
I'm still working the uh, audio settings here for my OBS Studios, guys. As like I said, I'm back on OBS Studios. Uh, I was trying XSplit, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it, so... I'm just sticking with OBS Studios and see how this works out for the upcoming future episodes. So we got a disturbance out here. I'm not sure what could be, what, what could possibly be happening. I'm not sure what's happening out here, but we're gonna check it out anyways. Dispatch 313 1097 Milton Road, uh, North Milton Road, and East, uh, just near the crossing of East Eclipse Boulevard. Show us code six. What's going on here? Now this is not this is no surprise. Hey, you know you can't be brown bagging around here. Get out of here. Hold on a sec. Eh, I'll cut you a break. This time. Dang. What's going on here? Is he on the? Wait a minute. Hold on. It literally says, "Be warned." Do not park here. Obviously, his fat ass is parked here, personally. Uh, no parking, and as you can see here, it says, Be aware, the owner of this property will have any authorized vehicles towed away at the driver's expense. It's funny because in my last uh, in my last one, when I was under normal quality, I couldn't see that texture, but now I can actually see it. How are you doing, sir? What's going on here, man? Wait a sec, buddy. You got it. You got ID on you, man. Kifla. Is that your dog over there? Thanks. Lurpy Smith. Lurpy. I guess it's Slurpy Smith. I guess they just took the S out. <laughs> All right. Question. All right. So, what are you doing, man? What are you doing over here? Just hanging around. Okay. So, where'd you come from, bro? Uh, should I know who you are? I'm about to find out once I take your once I get your information on the computer. Do you need any help, man, with anything? Are you over here, or...? Alright, that's a yes or no question, do you understand? Kill you up if you try- Alright, that's it, he just threatened me. Units recording. No further units required. Alright. Go ahead, officer, please go ahead and put him uh, in cuffs right now, because now he's talking about he's gonna kill me up. Now he just threatened a police officer. Go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and check him real quick. I'm gonna go and... Go ahead and pat him down real quick, and I gotta go run this information real quick. And the cop just, the dog just took off. They found cologne, a pack of cigarettes, and a pair of panties. Perv. What a pervert. Alright, we got him. He's had priors in the past. Aggravated kidnapping and mischief. I guess I could see why he would, uh, I guess so. He is a known felon. He is a known, uh, he's a known, con uh, known convicted felon. Create arrest report. So now we've got him on. So now we got him on basically. Literally, we, he was just like, you guys saw it right there. He was literally threatening, uh, like literally threatening, uh, uh, her, uh, making terror. Well, I guess I could say making terroristic threats, but he was threatening to kill me. And then he's uh, refusing to. So let's see what else we can get him for. Cause I know now I got him. Now I've got him on that, and we've got him on. I'm, I'm you know, I really want to say parole violation, probation violation, but I'm we're gonna put. I'm definitely not gonna since he doesn't have any of that. Kidnapping, theft, robbery, burglary, homicide, manslaughter. Okay, so he didn't have any much on him. He doesn't even have a, much of a track record, so we ain't gonna do any of that. Uh, so we'll just get him for that and making terroristic threats. That's all we can get him for. Uh, yeah. Let's see. All right, so we'll just get him for that, and then we'll just go ahead and get a transport out for him. Ah, uh, my door. Dang it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him. 
All right, man, so you realize what you're being arrested for, right? Threatening a police officer. Yeah, well, you ain't gonna be killing nobody now. Gonna... West Finewood. Learn your lesson, bro. Don't ever threaten. Don't ever threaten the badge, man. Don't ever threaten me or the badge. This gentleman, the, all right, these officers are coming in here. They're gonna be taking you in today. You're gonna be going to the North Vine, to the North Vine, uh, North Hollywood PD station. So if you got any problems, you know you can call your lawyer there, okay? Degenerate. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show them the body cam footage of you threatening to kill me. <laughs> all right. They got him. That's gonna code for us. She's gonna take him in. Oops, yeah, I did not see that. All right, code four, let's get back on patrol. Roger, dispatch, three Lincoln 13 showed me handling. Okay, so my partner glitched out. I don't know what happened. I was in the middle of driving. I pulled over because he glitched out, and apparently he disappeared now. I don't even know where he went. So I was driving around, and next thing you know, he just glitched out. And I don't know, man. I, they haven't, I haven't seen one perfectly good partner mod, partner script that we can use, or partner plugin. I, I remember when Police Partner was around, and that was part of Dark Myers, uh Dark Myers mod, I believe that was one of Dark Myers mods. So, and now it's not even around. I mean, we barely—I don't even think anybody uses it anymore because it's out of date. You know, it doesn't really work well with the 0.4s. Uh, so yeah, well, I can't really say for sure if we'll ever see that mod again or if anybody will make a better mod for police partners because we need one that's actually solid and stable. All right, so we're looking for somebody that's wanted and that matches the description of a wanted suspect. Could be anybody hanging out here. We're going to check it out, though, just to be sure. The minute that the map will tell us eventually if somebody's wanted around here. Let me see. Is this someone? Oh, here we go. you got to be kidding me. Don't tell me it's this old. Don't tell me it's that guy right there in the blue jeans and the dark blue over there in the brown shirt. Let me go ahead and park right here just to be sure. This, or, yeah, he's crossing the street. We're gonna keep our eyes open, though. No way. See where he goes from here. God damn it! All right, he just crossed the street. I don't think he notices us yet. And there goes my door. God dang it. Okay. Wait a sec, buddy. Hey man. What's going on? You got your ID on you, man? I have been meaning to change Thanks. that guys, and I'm so sorry about this. Emmett Williams. Okay. Hey Emmett, quick question, man. Can you turn around for me and uh, you got anything that's gonna stab me, poke me, stick me, harm me? Alright, keep your hands over your head where I can see him, okay? Don't reach for anything. And don't run either, because I'm only going to chase you down, and it'll do when you get in more trouble. Fraudulent passport. All right, so you know why I'm pulling, why I'm stopping you right here, right? Okay. Before I tell, before I, before anything, I need you to know. Did you know that there's a warrant for your arrest? Okay, he acts like he's knowing. All right. Go ahead, man. Do me a favor. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You okay? going down. You could have told. You know, you could have just led with that, man. But you're not gonna. You could have led with a simple yes or no. have anything on him so so you didn't got so you didn't so you weren't aware that you that you had a warrant for your arrest okay all right come with me you know what your arrest warrant is for okay don't worry about it we'll figure it out in a minute okay all right Go ahead and get in and watch ahead, okay? So you sure you don't know? 
Man, it's your last chance to come clean with me, man. I'm, t I'm just trying to be honest, man, because if I have to find out for myself, you're not gonna. That's gonna be uh, not working with an officer, okay? You're not. You're not cooperating with a police officer. Failure to comply, man. All right, that's fine. I hate that I have to repair my door now. Okay, so. During our computer, uh, Emmett Williams, he had an arrest warrant for possession of a stolen vehicle. Might have been somebody from, somebody he had uh, stolen it from. He's had two arrest records in the past for paying failure to pay a court order, child support, alimony, and possession of a stolen vehicle, in which he had the arrest warrant for. Upon, I guess he had the arrest. He's been stealing before, so he's a known grand theft uh, stealer. He's a known vehicle st uh, vehicle theft vehicle thief. So we got him for no lights at night. I'm guessing that was on the same day they got him on the possession of stolen vehicle, but according to the dates, they're all off. So, got charged with possession. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, the dates are all off, so it doesn't exactly make sense. So we'll just get him for his warrant. Warrant for vehicle warrant. Possession of stolen vehicle. I thought we would find that in here. I did update, uh, for those that are wondering, yes, I did update the CompuLite citation charge, citations and charges. So, we got him on possession, warrant for the possession of a stolen vehicle, even though he wasn't driving. We'll never know where the vehicle is, but eventually, hopefully, he'll lead to it where it is. Now that we got him. Let's go get a transport for him. Backup required in West Finewood. All right, here comes an LAPD cruiser. They're gonna take him in. Way to go, carbon footprint, people! <laughs> oh my God, such! He's, oh my God, these people, man! <laughs> Why you gotta be so vulgar to him? <laughs> As an old man, respect your elders. <laughs> well, you can't really respect them when they're breaking the law, but. Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to move and then we'll make our move from there. Okay. Alright, dispatch 3 Lincoln 13, show me code 4, uh, suspect in custody, no additional units required. Alright, we're gonna get back on patrol, guys. Ambulance call in Rockford Hills. Roger, dispatch 3 Lincoln 13 is in the area, I'll assist. All right, guys. So we're gonna be assisting uh, LAFD right now. They need to make a quick, uh, quick drive to the hospital. We're gonna assist them and help them out. Like I said, guys, I haven't had time to change up all the vehicles yet. So, let alone all my settings. My settings are not even at. My settings are not where they should be. Y'all good back there? Dispatch 3, 3 Lincoln 13, which show me code 4, we, we've arrived at the hospital. Alright. Alright guys, let's uh, get back on patrol here. Attention Unit 3, Adam 13. We have an officer in need of assistance in West Vinewood. Copy that. We're moving right now. 10-4. Roger Dispatch 3 Lincoln thir uh, 13 is going to be handling. Code three. So yeah, guys, you know, I'm hoping that a lot of new things are coming along our way. Uh, you know, I had a rough start to the New Year's, and I'm 
when I say right now, guys, I'm really like bummed out that I'm really bummed out that my job really wasn't gonna be the way I wanted it to be, and you know that's you know it's all behind me now. I'm just happy that I managed to you know I managed to find something new in the time in the amount of time I had because I was getting ready to quit even though I didn't have a job, but you know I can't really do that. I really was hoping to make a, a living out of this, you know, making LSPD and bar videos. Or at least something, you know, something to be recognized in. They want to see me. Dispatch 3 Lincoln 13, show me uh, code 6, a Spanish Avenue, about to make contact with the traffic stop officer. What's going on, man? What is going on? How are you today, man? The stretch of road is notorious for its many collisions. The driver of that vehicle was using their mobile phone. Please watch my back while I write out a ticket. All right. Just gonna check them out real quick. And it has turned out to be a traffic we stop. Have, uh, tra uh, pursuit. Possible 148 and West Pinewood. Dispatch, we 13. We're engaging in a pursuit right now of a Rancher XL taking off on us East Spanish Avenue. Speeds just went up to about uh, 30. Took off on two truck. Took off on two officers. Can we get an air unit out to look for him? Helicopter sure assistance required in West Vinewood. Can we get air unit? Can we get air, air one? Roger that. Air one in support. We have CHP following right behind. So we got two charges now in pursuit. Let's get more additional officers involved here. Required and Alright, uh, we got two LAPD officers now and cruisers taking LAPD Crown Victorias are in pursuit now. Continuing now uh, North Elgin. Staying on Elgin now. Alright, we're gonna make a right now on Clinton. Uh Come on, y'all, get out of my way, let's go. Uh, Still continuing on, Clinton. Watch out, watch out, watch out, move, move, move. He's 1050, 1050, he's done, he's done. No, no, he's still going, he's still going. And you guys just gotta continue hitting him, come on now. We need a trip, alright, he's going up the hill here. Let's see if we can get a spike strip on him. Backup needed. Eight, two, George, Victor, George, seven, zero, six. All right, we got trap. All right, we got some trips ahead of him. Bang, got him. He's done. He's still continuing. Still continuing. Assistance required. Eight, two, George, Victor, George, seven, zero, six. Backup needed. Eight, two, George, Victor, George. Oh, he went right. He went right. He's gonna continue back down. He's gonna continue back down. Marlow Drive now is gonna be a Marlow Drive. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Got another stop stick getting ready for him. Let's notify uh, local authorities. LASD should be on scene. Backup needed in uh, Vinewood Hill. We got LASD nearby. They're gonna be assisting. Oh, he's done. Taking a look. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. He'll tip you apart. He'll blow your head off. Stay right where you are, man. You ball. Get down. On your knees. Hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Stay right where you are. Lock down the truck. Stop the road. Stop the traffic. Stop the traffic. I'm not trying to get nobody hurt right now. All right, we got him. All right, he's gonna you arrest have the him. Right to remain silent or cry like a bitch. <laughs> Classic. You got the right to remain silent or cry like a bitch. Amen, sister. Ooh. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units. Why'd required. you run, man? You were scared. Bro, we just wanted to talk to you. That, that officer over there, he just wanted to talk to you, man. Why'd you run from him? Why'd you do that, man? You got anything on you, bro? Anything illegal on you? You got anything on the vehicle I need to know about? Anything, any weapons on you? Might be some empty baggies in the seat, I can't recall. Okay, he said he doesn't have no weapons on him, so anything on you I need to know about. He's not answering any questions. Alright, that's fine. We'll have him pat down. 
Shield pat him down real quick, check out what he has, and then we'll uh, search the vehicle, see what he has on him. Pretty sure this is not his vehicle though, maybe that's why he ran. We got a revolver with a tampered serial number, zip ties, and a vape. Nothing of interest. David Bordiga. Uh, we got open beer cans, I don't know how the hell they, she found that on him, but... Open beer cans, a uh, can of chewing tobacco, and Snickers bar. Okay. Alright, so we got open beer cans, so we know he was probably under the influence, that's why he got pulled over. He was, the officer was gonna arrest him with a ticket. He was gonna get him a ticket, so... Okay, so let's obtain the plate number, we'll check this vehicle out. We gotta do some, you know, gotta get that proactiveness, guys. Gotta get that proactive police work done. Get as much of this as you can. So, we'll start with the vehicle. We know it's not his. Rancher XL registered to a Jack Bobson. Probably hasn't reported it stolen yet. So, Jack Bobson, uh, he's on probation parole. So, possession of a stolen vehicle. Okay, so we probably sold it to this guy. It's probably a stolen. So, this vehicle is definitely going to be flag stolen. Because he's under probation. Because he's not even driving it with no, it's not even registered to him in any in any way, shape, or form. And uh, he's got some he's got some priors in the past, so we'll just get him for uh, driving under the influence of alcohol because we have open beer cans. So we got some open containers, open container motor vehicles, influence of alcohol. Uh, we got him for traffic crimes. We got him for fleeing police resulting in injury, property damage, or death. Uh, hit and run, no injuries. Fleeing a traffic stop, attempting to f um, evading arrest, and reckless driving and endangerment and driving the wrong way. We got him for. Uh, destruction of public property. Well, actually, we already got him with destruction of public property. Uh, stolen property. We got him in possession of a stolen vehicle. And we've got him on... The last thing we found on him was the zip ties. No, it's what we found in the car. I don't forgot. I think it was a gun we found in the car. No, it was a... What was it we found in the car? We found... We found a we found the uh, we found a vape, and then we found something else that he ran with. Oh yeah, the revolver. He had a revolver. Yeah, he did have a gun. Illegal uh, stolen via, stolen with firearm. 357 revolver serial tampered. All right, got him for all that. They'll go ahead and take him in. Backup needed in. Deputies will take him in. That'll be their uh, jurisdiction. Waste of space. Hello. Okay, so they'll take him in. This vehicle will get towed out. Oh, hold up. Where am I on the roof? No, no, no. Dang it. Why is it saying tow the police car? Tow the rancher, you jackass. Come on. There we go. Thank you. I can't wait to get this cell phone scripting off my this uh, no cell phone script because I'm trying to get it. I'm gonna find. I'm definitely gonna find one and I'm gonna put it on here. And then the next patrol, no more cell phones. I'm tired of it. We'll go ahead and uh, clear this all out. Open traffic. And uh, we'll code for this. Alright guys, so I just found this vehicle over here, uh, he literally like ran right across, he literally like cut me off back in traffic a minute ago, I was just on my way to, I was just on my way to another call when he, well, I was just about to be on my way to another call when he actually cut me off and I literally crashed into the back of his car, I'm surprised it's not damaged, so I'm going to be pulling him over as soon as we got the green light, let's do a plate check while we're here, Dispatch, can I get a 27 on a Panto 41 Young Queen Henry 103? Suspect's license plate. Alexandra Kosovo. No flags. Henry 103. No 1099. You totally don't look like you can afford it. We're gonna see if we can pull him over. Oh, perfect. Right there. Oh, there's the paint. Dispatch 3L13 is going to be on a traffic stop, East Marathon Avenue in Dorset. Uh, it's going to be a blue custom panto. Should get back up for this just to be safe, but then again, uh, 
I'm just gonna do this. All right. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. How you doing? Officer Noriega, LAPD. The reason for the stop is uh, you cut me off back there, heading on to uh, coming off the street out here, just just down the road here. When you made it, when you made that right turn, yeah, you cut me off, and you and I because of that, I ended up fendering your back. You got your uh, driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance with us today? Kiflam. Seems to be nervous and sweating. Thank you. Hello. All right. All right. And I just need your insurance if you have it with you. Thanks. Hello there. All right. So where are you headed to in such a hurry that I you nearly hit me? And that required you you're going to see a friend? Okay. And that gave you what right to just cut me off back there? And ma'am, can I ask you another question? Why is, do you know that your load is not that secure up there? You could be dropping all that stuff on the ground and people could get, actually get hurt. Do you really need all this stuff up there though? I mean, what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. Jesus. All right, just stay right here, ma'am, okay? All right. Keep your hands on the wheel. Don't reach. Don't reach for anything. Okay. Not the smart car. All right. It's gonna run her information right quick. Make sure she doesn't have any warrants or anything, and uh, she looks to be clean, except for that one ticket she had for a smoking violation, probably in a building or something that she wasn't supposed to, and she got cited for it, or smoking in a non-smoking area. All right. So. She doesn't have much except for the excessive load that she has in her car, so I'm not even going to give her a, a serious ticket for it, but I will be giving her the citation for cutting me off, and I will be giving her a citation for the heavy the heavy load. Probably not going to be much, so uh, public violation, no, warnings, non-moving violations. violation here we go okay so improper lane change because um, she did cut me off uh, let's see what else I was looking for the I was looking for the actual for the what's it called I'm not on not on road unworthy road vehicle but the citation in which uh, where is it let's see Oh, I guess we don't have it in here. Okay. Well, she's gonna get a lucky. She's gonna get a lucky break on that. I'm just gonna give her the ticket for, for the improper lane change. Maybe now she'll learn her lesson. You know. Okay. Alexandra. All right. I'm giving you back your license and your registration and insurance. Okay. But I'm also gonna be giving you this fine of two hundred thirty-eight dollars as well, for the improper lane change. Okay. Alrighty, if you could just sign down there, it just shows that you're not admitting guilt. You have 30 days to make the court to make the court date appearance, pay the fine there, and uh, I will be there at that time or at that exact time and date or where it is. Just make sure you're there as well, okay? All right. Do you have any other questions for me? Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna give you a warning for the uh, unsecured load, okay? Make sure you have this thing more secured next time, because that toolbox looks like it's about to come off, okay? So drive slowly when you're driving this thing, okay? All right, I'm gonna get back in my car and you'll be free to go. Okay, have a good one. Dispatch, uh, three Lincoln thirteen. Show me code four of that traffic stop, East Marathon Avenue, Dorset. All right, guys. So we're gonna get back on patrol. Hello. Roger, dispatch. 3 Lincoln 13 is going to be here. Units, respond code 2. Alright, guys, so we're getting a call of a 911 caller. Saw a suspicious parked vehicle. It looks to be a purple shafter. Uh, we're going to check it out. A purple shafter is uh, it's like a Mercedes. It's like a Mercedes, I guess. It's like a purple four door Mercedes. Yeah, what's 
to check it out and see what's going on. It seems to be suspiciously parked somewhere out here. Looking for it right now. Hope everybody is, en is enjoying my return episode. Um, I really do miss being. I really do miss this though. This is some. This is one of the things I really do miss doing is uh, making LSPDFR videos because, you know, I've I'm taking I'm taking my opportunity to be you know I'm trying to take as much of the opportunities I can to work you know to do these alongside some of the greats out there like Jeff Aviano, uh, First Thirty Minutes, Steve the Gamer, Benzo. Uh, LSPDFR Officer Rodriguez, you know, it's a there's a list, there's a list of how you know all these good idols out here that I've idolized in the LSPDFR community, people that I've idolized. And, you know, not saying I want to, not saying I want to be them, but you know, I'd like to work along. I like to do these things as a, you know, to be a part, to be like, not to be, you know, not to be them, but to be like them in a way. If it makes sense, you know, it, make, it makes sense. I just don't want to. Uh, you know, just be a part of the community. Just be a part of the law enforcement community. Be, a, you know, the fun version of it and the LSPDFR version of the law enforcement community and uh, have some fun with these guys. And that's a purple one, all right. And if I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing right now, ladies and gentlemen, you might want, if you have anybody that's under 18, you might not want them to watch this video. So I'm advising you right now, I'm going to count to three and I recommend that you guys do not have anybody under 13 watch this. One, two, three. This match, uh, three, 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 Adam, three, Adam, thirteen, three, Lincoln, thirteen is gonna be uh, near East Eclipse Boulevard. Oh, this is just cute. How you doing? Excuse me. Get out, both of you. What are y'all doing? I can't believe I saw that. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> this is a public area. You should know better. Yeah, I'll bet you were. How long have you been dating her? Three months. Three months? Okay. All right. Let me ask. Let me talk to her right quick. And hey, ma'am, who are you to him? All right. How long you been with him? You almost a year? So he says almost a three months and you said almost a year. Okay. Oh dear. Alright. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, do um Stand by Giflop. Uh, Thank you. Sam Hewton. Alright, and for him. Oh! Giflop! Alright, you guys got anything in Thank the car you. I should know about? Anybody? Any of you got anything in the car we should know about? Might be some baggage under the seat, he can't recall. What about you? You have anything under your car seat I should know about? Anything on the car seat I should know about under your seat? Okay. I want to get an additional unit, but um, believe it or not, guys, it has crashed three times on me since doing this. So I'm just running the information right quick and uh, check their names out, see what's going on. And then I'm not, then I'll just give them for uh, public indecency and uh, just literally public display of affection that does not need to be put out there. <laughs> All right, Kiko Mahani, he ain't got nothing. Sam Hewton, she has nothing. Uh, looks like they've done this in the past, disturbing the peace. There it is. Okay, so we'll get them. Well. I'm gonna just warn him to get out of here. Uh, we're gonna check the vehicle first just to make sure there's nothing in the car. Alright, uh, Kiko. Officers report a suspect on the run uh, and Kiko, West give me a favor, man. Uh, to go ahead and turn around. Um, you're not under arrest, but right now I'm just you detaining right you, alright? Um, you're not under arrest, I'm just detaining you, okay? Make sure there's nothing in you guys, alright? Sam, you too. Turn around, put your hands behind your back where I can see you, okay? Don't reach for anything. Just turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest! Right now, you two are being detained right now until I finish my investigation. And if they don't find anything in the vehicle or anything on you guys, you guys are free to go, okay? But I'm going to let you off with a warning about the public display of affection you guys did today, okay? Just stand, just stand right here with me. Alright. 
stand right here, okay? Alright, just stand right here, guys, okay? Alright, last chance, man. Come clean with me right now. Is there anything in this car I need to know about? Alright. Pair of goggles and a fedora, alright. Anything on you guys that I need to know about? We're gonna pat him down, make sure we don't got anything on him. Anything's gonna stab us, poke us, stick us. Anything's gonna stab me. Let's see. Got some hidden crack cocaine and a 357 Magnum loaded. That's the first thing I should have did. Oh, hey man, what's with the crack cocaine, man? This looks like crack cocaine in here. What you got? What are you? What's she hiding, huh? If you're hiding this, what is she hiding? A nuke? Marijuana pipe, okay. So I got a marijuana pipe with meth. Looks like they were smoking, they got high, and I guess they started going at it. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, get a transfer for both of them then. Two suspects separate Backup vehicles. Backup needed in uh, West Vinewood. Alright, and then we'll... Uh, I'm gonna leave the vehicle, I'll get a tow truck for it as soon as I get my uh, patrol done here, my investigation done. But we'll get them for their charges. Kiko is going to be charged with the possession of a stolen weapon, with the possession of a stolen 357 revolver. So legal possession of a firearm stolen, possession of a firearm stolen. And then we're going to get him for the baggie of meth, which by the way guys we will be doing our test on it as well. So possession of hidden crack cocaine or hidden meth. Baggie of meth. A hidden baggie of meth. Okay. What's going on? All right. Let's do our investigation here. Advance. Uh, okay. Sobriety test. Excellent. All right. Let's store the evidence. Probably, and if I'm not mistaken, it'll turn uh, blue. It'll turn blue if it's meth, or it'll turn purple. It's one of the two. I think it'll turn blue if it's positive for meth. Do a little tap here, shake it up, and nope, it's turning brown orange. Positive for methamphetamine, though. So we do have positive on meth. And then for her, I'm not really gonna get her for anything, but she lied to me. She told me there was nothing on her nothing on her nothing on the car she had the marijuana pipe but she's gonna be going to jail anyways because she was with him and I'm gonna check this pig real quick before we tow it out 95 Robert Target William Young 485 95 Robert William Young 485 no 1099 assistance required in West Vinewood and then we're gonna code four of these guys Let's check the vehicle out real quick, see if we have the ID in here. Nope, okay. Alright, so... Yup guys, that's gonna code for it right there. Alright, dispatch uh, 3 Lincoln 13, you can clear my last over, code 4. Alright guys, so I just arrived back at the station. And, uh, oh, I hear a stolen car. Okay, maybe it was a screw up, I don't know, but whatever. Um, we're gonna do our court cases. Starting with all those that we busted today. Uh, Lurpy Smith was arrested for making for threatening me earlier. So it was granted probation. Uh, Emmett Williams, we got him for a warrant. And his charges will be... Oh, what happened here? Hold on. Okay, so Lurpy Smith is gonna be fined 747 granted probation. Emmett's charges are going to be not was found not guilty for the possession of the stolen vehicle and maybe we didn't find it maybe it was maybe it was thrown out not sure David Bordiga we got him on a bunch of charges uh, on Marlowe Drive when we busted in possession of firearms stolen vehicle uh, stolen vehicle driving the wrong way reckless driving endangerment evading arrest it was a big it was a big pursuit and let's just say that guys <laughs> the guy literally drove a rancher and he took a suburban and drove off in the process, he uh, got arrested for uh, pretty much doing a, causing a lot of hell. 
and all that, 18 years, 5 months. Out of everything he did, 18 years, 5 months. Oh, impro okay, Alexandra Kosova. We only got her for improper lane change. Her citation, she was fined 226, and she will be making that payment. And then we got Kiko Mahani. Uh, we didn't get a chance to put the other female individual into the uh, system, but Sam Hewton. But um, she's gonna be going. She's gonna be going for just lying to me. And then for Kiko, he's gonna be going for the possession of meth and firearm. He's gonna be doing a year in prison. He's got nine thousand in fines. All right. Well, guys, that about wraps it up for LSPDFR here today. I want to thank everybody for have, taking the time off their busy schedule to watch this video. If you guys are new to my channel, I please recommend that you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit the like on this video. Leave some feedback down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys thought about my, uh, what you guys think about my new quality uh, settings. If you guys think that there's something I can do to amp it up, I'm all open to suggestions down the road. Uh, in the comment section down below, guys. Once again, thank y'all for watching my LSPDFR video, and I will see you on the next episode. Till then, take care.